going to learn how to create a Docker image and then host the Docker image into Nexus Docker registry. So you can, uh, you know, set up uh, a Docker registry in, uh, you know, many ways, right? Uh, in previous video, we learned how to host a Docker image in Amazon ECR or, you know, you can also use Nexus, you can use Artifactory or, you know, you can use, uh, you know, Docker Hub as well, right? So there are many ways you can host uh, Docker images, okay? But this particular Nexus to store Docker registry and then, you know, we are going to create a Docker image and then we are going to push the Docker image into Nexus, okay? So that is the use case. We already have a project set up in Bitbucket and that already has a Docker file, okay? And, um, you know, we, we have a EC2 instance where Docker is installed, okay? And then, you know, we are going to uh, configure Nexus in order to host Docker registry. So this is the use case we are going to do. Let's get started. So if you look at uh, what I have, so I do have Nexus up and running, right? So which is this one, right? So right now Nexus is up and running. And then I have uh, another EC2 instance where, you know, we have a Docker installed. Okay, so this is what we are going to use for this particular lab. All right. Okay, so if you look at the instruction, right? Uh, so yeah, what is the prerequisite? So we need to make sure that Nexus is already installed. We already have up and running. And then we need to make sure, you know, we are opening up 8081 as well as 8085. Okay, because, you know, uh, we are going to configure Nexus registry on this particular port number. Okay, so we need to open that. Okay, and then of course Docker is, you know, we, we already have Docker, you know, installed on this particular instance. Okay, all right, so let's configure uh, Nexus 3 to host Docker registry, right? So let's log into Nexus. I already logged in here and uh, go and click on this, uh, you know, registry, right? And click on the repository. So we need to create a repository in order to host Docker registry right so you see this option create a repository and then come to docker hosted click on that one and we have to give uh, you know some name right so i'm going to say as my docker uh, you know private registry right okay and then you can leave this one okay that is absolutely fine okay and then over here so we have to specify a port number right so in this case i'm going to use 8085 okay so that is what i'm going to do and then of course i also have given you know the step over here as well right okay and then uh, we need to enable uh, you know so that you know you can uh, make through api call right you can uh, do any api call right so that is what we have to do so just let's enable this option as well okay and then, uh, yeah, I don't think this is recommended. Allow anonymous Docker tool. Uh, if you want, you can you can do that. So that is fine. But uh, you know, I don't want to do any anonymous Docker uh, pull. So I don't want to do that. Okay. And then let's see over here. Yeah, I think that's pretty much over there. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and then create this repository, right? Okay, so now the Docker repository has been uh, created, right? So we are actually good. And then the next step is we need to configure an realm for that, right? So if you see here, yeah, you see here, um, you have this Docker bearer token realm, right? So you'll have to, uh, you know, made that as active, right? So that is what you'll have to do. And then you can save that. Okay, so we basically, you know, uh, created that realm and then made that as active, right? Okay, so that is also good, right? So that's it, right? So uh, we have configured Nexus to host Docker registry. Uh, and then we are not done yet. What we are going to do, you know, we are going to uh, create a Docker image and then, you know, we are going to push the Docker image into a Nexus, right? Nexus registry, okay? So let me quickly log into my Docker instance, right? So this is my Docker instance. So I'm going to quickly configure that. I mean, connect to that. Okay. And then if you see here, I already have a Docker install, right? So this is the Docker version I have, okay? 
All right, so what we have to do is, um, you know, you need to uh, configure uh, the Docker daemon, right? So, so that, you know, the Docker can, uh, you know, connect to uh, the Nexus uh, Docker registry, right? So for that, we have to create this, uh, you know, kind of a, you know, uh, file, right? Uh, the Docker daemon file. Okay, so let's open that one. This may not be there. It is as good as you know. We are creating new. All you have to do is you have to make this entry, right? Because we haven't made uh, our Nexus as a secure registry, right? Because it is going to be insecure registry. So you'll have to make this change. So you'll have to provide the DNS name, right? So in this case, uh, yeah, I mean I can just copy from here, right? Or yeah, I just need this. I right? just need a public DNS name. Okay. Just just go ahead and then provide that, right? And then eight zero eight five we already you know uh, configured right uh, in our uh, Docker registry. So so that is that. And then once you do that, uh, you need to come out of that and then save this file. Okay. So once you made the change, we will have to restart the Docker daemon, right? So that the changes can take effect, right? So we have done that, and then you can quickly check the status, just to make sure that you know it's up and running. Okay, awesome, right? So everything is good. Okay. So now, okay, the next step is you know we have to log in into Docker registry which is hosted in Nexus. So how we are going to log in? So basically, you can execute this command. Right, sudo docker login and then username which is admin, and then what is the Nexus public DNS name, right? Which is nothing but uh, this one, okay? And then colon eight zero eight five because that is the port uh, Nexus says you know uh, hosting the Docker registry, right? And then enter. Yes, we have to provide the Nexus admin password, so I'm just going to enter that. Wow, you see here, so we are able to log in into. Uh, Nexus uh, Docker registry, right? So it says that you know a uh, login succeeded. Okay. Awesome. So we are able to log in into Nexus, and then the next step is we have to create a Docker image. Actually, you know I have already uh, Dockerize uh, a project here, right? So if you look at this one uh, application, right? So this is your source code. All it does is you know it's gonna show some random image and whatnot right so that's what it is and if you see here I have uh, created a docker file right so this is completely uh, Python based application right so I'm installing Python uh, you know modules and whatnot and then finally I'm copying the source code make exposing the port 5000 port and then running the application right so I have already a docker application all we have to do is uh, create the docker image right and this is a public repository so you can simply clone that without the ssh keys so i'm going to clone this repo awesome so the project has been uh, cloned and if you look at here so this is uh, this is the python based uh, project right so we already have a docker file and everything everything got cloned so all we have to do is you know go ahead and create the Docker image, right? So I'm going to create a Docker image, right? So I'm going to execute this command docker build dot minus t and then the way we are going to tag is, you know, uh, use the DNS name and then mention the image name, right? So we already have the DNS name here, right? Okay, so that and then colon 8085 and then I'm going to mention some image name, right? So I'm going to call this as my Python app, okay? Enter. Awesome, you see here, uh, the image has been created and you can quickly see Docker images. Wow, well, see here? So this is the image which has been created, right? See here? So this is the image which has been just created few seconds ago right so we have created the uh, docker image and then we also tag you know in a way that uh, you know it can be uploaded into docker uh, registry right 
so so that is what the you know image is right so now what we can do we should be able to push uh, our docker image into uh, docker hub right which is you know uh, so we should be able to push our docker image into docker registry right so let's go ahead and do that right so all i have to do is just go ahead and then say sudo docker push and then uh, you just have to mention